Hey guys, Patrick with Tactical Diesel Dad here. This is my first video. Thanks for joining the channel. Uh, today we're going to change the rear differential fluid on my 2017 Ram 3500 Dually. And it's got about 48,000 miles on it. Um, I tow a lot with it and I'm actually past due on a rear differential fluid change. So I'm going to knock that out today. And uh, pardon the voice, I'm just getting over a cold. So pull this thing in the shop and we'll get started. All right, I got the truck pulled in the shop. Uh, so I'm switching to uh, Amsoil 75W90 Severe Gear. Um, good reviews online, yeah, full synthetic, and uh, comes in these uh, easy packs. I'm still going to use a pump uh, to get in the differential when I'm done. I'm using a 13 millimeter socket to uh, take the differential off. And I have a gasket from the dealer. Uh, I think it was around $45 actually cheaper than you could find it at uh, Napa or O'Reilly's. Um, I may reuse it and save this one for the next change. Um, we'll just see what the gasket looks like uh, whenever I take it off. So uh, we'll get down there and take off the um, uh, fill plug first. That way when you take the pan off, you're not gonna have any issues with it getting stuck on there. All right, one thing that's pretty handy to have is a half inch torque wrench and it reduces down to three eighths. Um, and now I was, I just cracked this thing loose real quick just so I wasn't struggling with it too long. Um, we'll see, hopefully we'll get some fluid coming out of here like they're supposed to be. If not, I'm an I'm a idiot for not checking it sooner. Yeah, fluid's right there at the lip. Definitely smell it. It looks pretty, pretty clear dripping off my pinky. So we'll we'll let it drip. One thing I like to use is any of my kids' stained uh, towels or clothes. My wife throws them out to me in the shop, so I can use them as grease rags. And they're generally cotton, so they're able to absorb oil and grease without leaving a bunch of residue. So now I'm going to use this torque wrench, just get some extra leverage. I might use my impact wrench. Actually, I'll probably just start that off first with the impact wrench. Why work harder when you can let the machine do it for you? There we go. Now I've heard these have uh, red Loctite on them. So I got some blue Loctite. I'll be using blue instead. Um, I don't really want to have to clean a bunch of red Loctite off every time I take these off. There we go. So you can see with the light, oil doesn't look bad. I was expecting it to might be a little bit worse because I tow a uh, double axle dump trailer with wood chips when I do tree work. And uh, obviously heavy towing like that, I'm towing probably around 17, 18,000 pounds fully loaded, generally around 10,000 pounds. But if I get a full tree, chip it up and fit it in there, and that's a lot of weight <clears throat> so another good reason to switch to synthetic for the rear differential so i'm going to pause this i'll take the cap off or take the uh the cover off and then uh go from there all right down to the last three bolts and i have a little magnetic tray that i'm putting everything in coming off pretty easy it's a good sign have cardboard underneath the pan to catch any unwanted or missed drips so I don't make a too terrible of a mess on the shop floor all right 
can see I'm gonna let that all that I'm gonna let it all drain out and then uh, take a rag and wipe it down and we'll curl up from underneath here and uh, clean up the differential cover and wire brush the bolts it's kind of depressing sometimes using these uh, my girls cute clothes as grease rags reminds me when they were littler Clean this up real well. And yesterday I did wash the truck to just get any dust and real grime off the differential. Just gave it a, a spray down. I didn't get into detail. You can see the uh, oil plug has a little bit of a little bit of residue on there. That some metal shavings. That's just going to happen with a brand new vehicle. Just general wear and tear. But I'll clean that off real good before we put it back on. Let the chicken get you. All right. So here's the differential plug. The magnet on it. Uh Making a video. My oldest daughter's wondering what I'm doing. I'm just gonna wipe this off with the rag. She's feeding the chickens. My youngest wants to go inside, so she's done. So I'm gonna use a parts washer. Some guys are using uh, brake fluid cleaner, and uh, and here here are the bolts. They've got some red Loctite on them. I'm gonna switch to blue. Um, I don't know. We'll see. That actually wasn't very hard to come off with an impact wrench. So I may use red. And then I'm still up in the air about you reusing the gasket or not. I think it's like 45 bucks. Um, part of me is like, why take the chance? And the other part of me is like, well, save that gasket for the next time. Definitely replace it next time. But I'll wipe this off and then uh, see what happens. But for now, we'll clean the uh, differential cover <clears throat> and go from there. Pretty small parts cleaner. I normally use it for gun parts, gun cleaning, and maintenance. What are you talking to? <laughs> so you can see it's getting off the residue pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm in the video. <laughs> That is my oldest, Adeline. Looks like it's getting it pretty good. I'm gonna get in those crevices real quick. We'll go, go shut the gate. If the chicken's got out, go shut the gate. All right, I'll resume the video once I get this differential cover all clean. All right, I got the differential cover all clean. I'm gonna go ahead and put the new gasket on. Better play it safe than sorry. Um, I'm just gonna clean up the uh, outside edge here where there's a little bit of corrosion. I'm just gonna just clean off the edges, make sure there's no rust or, or uh, road grime. It's gonna possibly separate the gasket from the pan. I'm sure it'd be okay, but I'm gonna do it right. Alright, 
pretty smooth all the way around. I'll wipe it down and get to back to installation. And I cleaned off the uh, drain plug with the magnet on there. Just uh, wipe that down real good and hit it with the uh, parts cleaner as well. So I'm cleaning off the uh, the red Loctite from the threads of each of the bolts. It's actually coming off a lot easier than I thought it would. So I'm just going to go once over real quick each bolt with a uh, wire brush. I've got a small one so I don't get my hands, get my fingers with it when I'm doing it. And uh, once that's all clean, then we'll get back underneath the truck. Alright, got my cover clean, got my brand new gasket on there, and I'm using a uh, red, actually it's Permatex, not Loctite, uh, gel, um, the, the red Loctite or whatever they had on there, uh, what brand, um, actually came off pretty, pretty easily with a wire brush, so it wasn't as big of a deal as I thought, so I'll go ahead and reuse the red stuff, I'll put the uh, top and bottom bolt in, I'll snug them in um, real quick, and then I'll torque them down to spec. I've already pre pre uh, prepped these bolts with red Permatex gel. Make it a little bit easier. I can just grab them and thread them in. So I'll put these in real quick and then torque them down. All right, I've got all the bolts uh, snug by. Uh, Use my impact wrench to tighten down a lot faster, and I bet I didn't crank down on it. I just snugged them real quick. Now I've got a torque wrench. I'm gonna torque them. Might need an extension here. Oh, no, I got it. I'll torque all these down real quick. All right. All right, that'll do it. Now we'll go ahead and try to use this bag. Start filling her up. I was going to use the pump. I wasn't sure how much of the oil would actually come out of the bag. It actually comes out. The air helps push everything out. So it works like they say it does. Actually, there's a, I just noticed it. There's a stamped sign on here that says fluid level, and it's actually just below the uh, threading on the plug. So I may have been okay with the level because 
put my pinky in there and it's about the right size so it doesn't look like I lost any fluid. I bought the truck till now. But I should have changed the oil sooner for sure. The the fluid looked really good, nice and clear. Considering how heavy I tow. Which compared to hot shot guys isn't isn't as heavy as those guys can get. And Ams Oil has free shipping on anything over a hundred dollars. So I went around to all the different stores and I have a Chevy 2500. I'll probably use the Lucas Tri Lucas oil in uh, in my Chevy, which I have the Lucas uh, additive in my and full synthetic um, shell Rotella in the engine right now. Almost there, not quite. Go grab another bag. There we go. Four bags total. I don't see too many videos of 3500s on here on YouTube, which is why I wanted to make this video. Because the other videos I saw, they didn't take near as much gear oil as this truck did so i wanted to see something i wanted to add some content that had uh stuff relevant to dodge 3500 dualies snug this down and then we should be done Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Have a good one.